Paul. The word Paul, P-A-L-L. Do you know what I'm talking about? All right, Paul is an old English word that comes from the Latin pallium, meaning cloak, also called a mort cloth, or more simply, a funeral pall. It is the cloth that covers a casket or coffin at funerals. Now the memorial service using such a cloth in turn is sometimes called a Paul funeral. There is a couple of uh, solid facts about it right there. But there's more where that came from and that's why we're talking about the funeral Paul on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. Before the use of the pall became fairly common for Christian burial services, another form of pall, a smaller one, was used to cover the elements of the Eucharist to keep dust and insects from falling into what was being used for Holy Communion. It's actually really good thinking. Now, the use of the larger pall to cover coffins at funerals became more popular in the Middle Ages. Now, you might have heard of a pall bearer, and we might point out the term is pall bearer, not casket bearer. This is because the pall and its symbolism of baptism and resurrection through Jesus Christ is at the center of the funeral service even more than the deceased. Now, once the pall is on, once the cloth has been laid on, uh, that focus is ritually declared. So the pallbearers are helping the, the whole congregation declare the power of Christ in baptism and our hope in resurrection through Christ as they carry the casket into and or out of the worship space. Now, cultural traditions in which the pall is being used often determine its color and use. Uh, for example, a pall for a military funeral may be the nation's flag. Or in Britain, members of the royal family may use a pall bearing the coat of arms. Uh, originally, they were brightly colored or patterned, but over the years, more and more palls are simply black, matching the vestments of the clergy, or pure white, matching the white garments worn for ceremonial services, such as baptism or Easter. Now the color's not fixed, and it's often decorated with a cross, uh, perhaps running the whole length of the, the cloth from end to end in all four directions, signifying Christ's triumph over sin and death on the cross. Now the United Methodist Book of Worship, along with a number of other denominations, commends the use of the white pall as a sign of baptism and resurrection. But the colors and decorative symbols often vary according to the use and the liturgical season which means um, which means you should go check out our other Chuck Nose Church episode about liturgical colors. That's what it means. If you'd like to learn more about the Paul, be sure to ask your pastor. Tell them Chuck sent you. 